Hello, welcome back to our channel. I remember my humble side is the one called Samuel. I'm super excited today because I just discovered yet another leaf that will help you improve the weight of your royal chicken and also safeguard your chicken against coccidiosis disease. Okay, in this topic, we're going to talk about the benefits, how to use it, how to prepare these wonderful leaves. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. So welcome back to my channel. As I said earlier, we're discussing a special leaf I just discovered. You are going to know how to use this special leaf to increase the weight of your broiler chicken and also safeguard your chicken against Cosidio cyst. I go for that. Let me use this opportunity to thank my 10,000 subscribers. On November 30th, we exceeded 10,000 subscribers in this channel so i'm so grateful and i believe we can do more we can take it to 20 000 50 000 to 100 000. it's just all about consistency on my side and i really want to thank all of you my new subscribers my old subscribers for sticking around all this while now let's get back to business how did i find out about this special leaf chicken so from my research i discovered that cassava uh, leave me Olive is rich in vitamins, minerals, and uh, amino essential amino acid, which will improve the growth of your chicken and the overall development of your chickens. Okay, how do you actually prepare this cassava leaf meal? And if you want to prepare cassava leaf meal, you don't just go to your farm or any farm and uh, pick pluck any leaf. No, you pluck. From a leaf that is between that is four to six months old, the, by so doing, it will not affect the productivity of the plants in general. Okay, so in harvesting, look for a plant, cassava plant that is four to six months old. So by so doing, it will not affect the production or productivity of the plant. Now. What do you do next? You wash this leaf, slice it, parboil it, you parboil it so that, remember cassava contains cyanide, which can cause cyanide poison. Remember cassava contains cyanide, which can cause cyanide poisoning. So by heating it or parboiling this leaf, it will reduce that toxic compound or substance called cyanide. Okay, that's why that is the reason why you parboil it. Although parboiling will also make some water soluble substance to uh, nutrient to be lost, but that is just what you have to do to uh, to be sure your shaking will not be harmed. Although some people go ahead to use this uh, leaf like that without parboiling, but just to be sure not to harm your bed, you parboil it to remove this cyanide a substance, poisonous substance from the lid. So then you sun dry the grind to powder, then you can put it in your chicken feed. But you don't just put it in your chicken feed. Remember, it always has an inclusion rate. So from the research, the first research that was done, it shows that when this cassava leaf meal was added in layer smash, it reduces the coccidiosis oocytes, like the spore, the coccidia spore that this chicken normally picks, it reduces this spore from their body from between 60 to 70 percent. The coccidia spore was reduced. So when this lab meal was added in a layer smash, 30 percent. Other ones were in broiler, three, uh, five percent to 10 percent. Most of the inclusion rates from research. So it's between five to ten percent. So it also showed in broiler that it increases muscle development, which will help the chicken to gain weight and carry the weight as well. It also improves the protein content because it contains essential amino acids, which is very very important when it comes to growth. Huh? So this all uh, in in general will help to improve the growth and development of your chickens okay now what age most of you 
may ask, at what age can you start giving your chickens? This um, cassava lead me. So from research, uh, some of the research talked about from the one to the seven, but it's I normally try to give chicken this lead me three weeks, four weeks above when the chicken is beginning to transit from um, what do they call it? Um, starter mash to finisher mash. That's why I do normally add my supplements, but I don't see anything wrong with uh, adding it in the feed. Especially in the feed, if you're adding this supplement, this powder meal of leaves, you can add it from the one in their feed. But from if you're adding it in water, I normally wait uh, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks before I start adding water. But in feed, you can start from the one and start at adding it in, in feed. But to be safe, start from with two upwards and add your cassava leaf me in your chicken feed. Okay? So in general, we have learned that cassava leaf me can help to improve the weight of your royal chickens and also prevent your chicken against procedural cysts. And remember, in preventing coccidiosis, you don't use this to cure. You use it to prevent coccidiosis ahead of time, okay? When these coccidiosis are eating deeply into your chicken, it's, it is time you use a more potent